overflows. Love is a door. Love is a door to the beyond, door to freedom, door to heaven. It all depends on you. If there is passion in love, then love becomes hell. Attachment in love makes love a prison and passionless love becomes heaven. If love is without attachment, then love itself is the divine. Love has both possibilities. You can have passion and attachment in love. Then it is as if you have tied a stone around the neck of a bird of love. It is as if you have tied a stone around the neck of the bird of love. With that, the bird cannot fly. Or if you have put the bird of love in a golden cage, howsoever precious the cage may be, it may be studded with diamonds and jewels, a cage is after all a cage and it will destroy the bird's capacity to fly and soar in infinite vast sky. When you are able to remove passion and attachment from love, when you are able to remove passion and attachment from love, when your love is pure, innocent, formless, when you give in love and do not demand, when love is only a giving, when love is an emperor, not a beggar, when you are happy because someone has accepted your love and you do not trade love. You ask nothing in return, then you are liberating the bird of love into the open, vast, infinite sky. Then you are strengthening its wings, then this world, then this bird can set out on the journey to the infinite. When your love is able to remove passion and attachment, love has made people fall and love has made people rise as well. Both possibilities exist. It all depends on what you have done with love. What you have done with love. Love is a very mysterious phenomenon. It is a door. On one side is suffering and on the other side is bliss. On one side is hell and on the other side is heaven. On one side is sansar, the wheel of life and death, the world of duality and conflict. And on the other side is liberation, freedom, transcendence. Love is a door indeed. If you have only known love, as full of passion and attachment, then when Jesus says God is love, you will not be able to understand this. 
if your love is full of passion and attachment, then you will not understand Jesus when he says God is love. When Sahajobai starts singing songs of love, you will become uneasy, uncomfortable. This will not make any sense to you. You will say, I have also loved, but in return, I got misery, I got sufferings. In the name of love, I reap millions of thorns. No flowers ever blossomed for me out of love. This is your experience. Maybe a momentary there was a possibility that you felt that flower of love is blossoming. But then, before it could blossom, the possibility vanished. The other love will seem to be imaginary. The love which becomes devotion, which becomes prayer, which becomes freedom, which becomes liberation, will look just like play of words for you. The love which becomes liberation, which gives you tremendous freedom, and in fact that becomes freedom, which becomes prayer, which becomes devotion, that will appear you to be only play of words. You have also known love, but, but whenever you know love, you know love to be full of passion and attachment. Your love was not really love. Your love was only a curtain to hide passions, attachment and sex. On the outside you called it love, inside it was something else, introspect. And then you complain that you have reaped only thorns, millions of thorns out of love. What did you long, what did you long for when you were in love with a man or a woman? What did you long for when you were in love with a man or a woman? Your longing was sexual, and love was only the outside deco. Love is dangerous, sex is not. People who are afraid of love are not afraid of sex. Love is dangerous, sex is not. It can be manipulated and it has been manipulated over the years. There are now many manuals on how to do it. Love can never become a technique. Sex has become a technique. Love cannot become a technique. If in sex you try to remain in control, then sex will not help you to reach the ultimate, to reach the state when the flowering flowers begin to blossom. It will go to a certain point and then you will drop back. It will take you up to a certain height and then you will fall back because somewhere, 
somewhere, even sex, needs to let go. It, the seed has to let go its individuality. Only then there is a possibility for the seed to burst and then the process of growth or transformation can begin. So it needs a let go. Love can give you a new soul, a new vigor, a new form, a new texture to sex. Then sex is transfigured, it becomes beautiful, it is no longer sex. It has something of the beyond in it. It has become the bridge to the unknown and unknowable. Remember, love is the door. It all depends on what do you do or how do you use this door. How do you use this door? Love has both possibilities. You can have passion and attachment in love. Then it is as if you have tied a stone around the neck of the bird of love. Then it cannot fly. It cannot soar in infinite sky. Remember, love is the door enough for now.